with games like Halo Infinite, Ratchet and Clank A Rift Apart, Metroid Dread, and other major releases being the highlights of the year, many great games may have been missed and slipped under your radar. While getting nice and cozy this holiday, consider dabbling in some of these great games you might have missed. Ninjas, mechs, mythical beasts, what more could you ask for? Back in January, Yacht Club Games, developer of Shovel Knight, published Cyber Shadow. This retro-styled side-scroller was wholly developed by mechanical head's single employee Arn Hunziker and composed by a third party. The game features some heavy Ninja Gaiden influences, along with a few Metroidvania map mechanics. Between the challenging combat and a killer aesthetic, Cyber Shadow gives players 10 action-packed hours of retro fun. Despite being overshadowed by the release of Monster Hunter Rise earlier in the year, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, still found its success. The story spin-off series features drastically different gameplay and chibi art styles. Originally published on the 3DS, the newest entry in the story series is right at home on the Switch. Despite deviating from the mainline series, Stories offers compelling turn-based combat and engaging systems. The simplification of the Monster Hunter formula allows players to enjoy the core mechanics with less stress. If you're interested in a more casual Monster Hunter experience, or just want a solid handheld RPG, get yourself this game for Christmas. Technically released in 2012, this title finally made its way to the Switch this year. Theta Morgana is a whirlwind of a visual novel that treats players to the story of a time-skipping ghost. Without giving too much away, our spectral protagonist slowly unravels a mystery surrounding an ancient mansion and a white-haired girl who seems to follow it through time. The twists and turns this VM takes will draw players into its world. The story's main themes of heartbreak and loss provide a pathos that many games fail to reach. Although some players may need to take notes to keep track of the variety of characters, any gamer who wants a handheld visual novel treat for those cold winter nights needs to pick up the House and Fata Morgana, Dreams of Revenants Edition. Even though Returnal made critical waves upon release, the Sony exclusive has still slipped past many gamers' catalogs. With intense combat and a bone-chilling atmosphere, Returnal has no qualms about punishing players for their mistakes. Although many players may become frustrated with its roguelike qualities, the rewarding combat keeps gamers coming back for more. Calling this game a love child between Destiny and Gears of War may be half accurate, but it does not do it justice. People Can Fly's Outriders provides players with tight gunplay and ample mission variety. With updates rolled out since launch, many players who dropped Outriders early may want to dive back in and experience the game in its current state. 2021's indie summer hit captures that 2D Zelda vibe, but it also adds its own unique style to the mix. The cartoony designs of the characters contrast with darker themes of abuse and loss that take the player by surprise. While the combat doesn't feel totally new, the level design is a delight to explore, and enemy encounters prove both challenging and rewarding. Death's Door is the type of game that needs to be played to appreciate the craft that went into it. While Machine Games' Indiana Jones title is still early in development, fans of mystical ancient cities and escaping deadly traps can check out The Forgotten City. Originally a mod for Skyrim, modern storytellers of Forgotten City gives players an ancient Roman town, still full of citizens, to explore. Combat and exploration aren't the only things to do, however. There's also an interesting decision-making hook that you'll just have to discover for yourself. Pixel art games may seem a dime a dozen nowadays, but the care and beauty put in Eastward make it stand out. Mixing earthbound desk mechanics with traditional top-down gameplay and a heartfelt story, Eastward is the pleasant surprise of the year. The real attraction to Eastward comes from its details. The world is crafted in a meticulous, Ghibli-inspired manner that quickly draws the player in. Little environments and characters' quirks elevate Eastward beyond your traditional indie pixel art game. Although Guardians of the Galaxy came out to critical praise and has been nominated for Game of the Year awards, many people still might have missed out on this surprise hit. 
Coming off the generally negative reception of Marvel's Avengers, audiences had a well-founded pessimism towards Square Enix's second shot at a Marvel title. Upon release, many people began praising Guardians for having a tight narrative and all-around solid gameplay. No microtransactions, no live service, just a rare example of a $60 narrative-focused single-player game that delivers exactly what's advertised. Little Nightmares 2 perfectly captures why smaller games are still worthwhile. A horror-themed puzzle platformer, this title provides players with a chilling atmosphere to backdrop the gameplay. Little Nightmares 2's primary mechanic is a series of somewhat unsettling puzzles to solve. While there are some combat encounters peppered throughout, the game achieves its intended effect on players by forcing them through oppressive and intimidating environments. One of the greatest accomplishments of this game is how it scares. While some games may rely on cheap jump scares or gore, Little Nightmares 2 rejects that concept. Instead, players must propel themselves forward through increasingly disturbing areas and encounters. This type of game design is virtue itself, and should be one of many reasons you should experience a Little Nightmare before Christmas.